In this video, I'll show you how Decathlon, the, the stores in Decathlon, can scan all your items when you buy them without actually having to pass them through a scanner. That's because they have an RFID tag inside. Each, each item has an RFID identification code, a device into the labels, built a miniature device built into the labels and um, it's activated by uh, radio signal. It has an antenna, it will pick up the radio signal and there is the chip on, on the label that will get energized and it will work and show, send the signal. Identification signal to the reader. And this is the Solonac, Solonac, Solonac or Solonac X axis pouch size M. The medium one. Very convenient. It's pretty nice. I I will I'm still building this one so I'll show you later. I'll put a few all everything only what's in it and not what's not necessary on a field trip or going outside. This is the label here. So you have this is attached. On this case it's outside, so it's easier to remove. But I actually don't want to remove this hole. <coughs> This hole here might be useful. I think they made it so you can attach it. They can attach it to the shelf to sell it. And for the label, it's nice that it's easier to easy to remove. But I want to try to remove the label without without having to cut it. This piece of fabric here. Let's try. Okay. Yeah, I want to keep this part because this could be useful to attach something. It's it has two holes in it. Normally, what I understand is you could just cut it from here because it's part of the label, but I don't mind to keep it in there. So that's, that's one label. <clears throat> what makes this, what makes the Decathlon labels special? is this tag here. So other than the information about washing instructions, manufacture, lots of other batch info, information about when it was made and where, there is this one here, a really tiny label. Okay, so this is the label here. There is the light behind the camera and you see inside of the label there is a there are wires it's printed like this and then there is small contact in the middle point that's where the chip is the microchip so the antenna is there to pick up the radio signal emitted by the scanner and it will make the microchip energized and the chip will send the signal back which is going to be 
the code. I'm not sure exactly how it's doing it. Probably using pulses, high and low frequencies. Could use a lot of options. But this is the label. And inside it has this it has this microchip. So let's open it and see how it looks like. I will try to open it, but I'm not sure. Okay, I could I can get the label out from this one. Also, this is the Solonac X Access Organizer Pouch S. X Access Pouch X. Pouch S. I could keep these labels. I don't think it's a big deal to keep them. So here we have the label inside and that's the RFID tag. The same thing, but here it's a bit On this bag, it's a bit more difficult to remove it because it's actually sewn. It's sewn, sewn into. It's made into the edge of the. On this bag, it's a bit more difficult to remove it because I have to cut it carefully, not to cut the actual bag, but cut enough so the label doesn't is not bothering. And let's try. That's not bad. Very little left there. You can't remove it completely. And this is the Solonac X Access size small. And the bag I carry with me every day. I use this as a shoulder bag. This is the fork lass. Fork lass. I always say these names wrong. And this is a wallet organizer that you're supposed to attach to a backpack. But I use it as a shoulder bag. I modified it like that. It's nothing super special. But I wanted to see where is the label. This is where you put cards. And that's the Victorinox Swiss Iron Knife. The compact, very nice, light. And the labels, the labels are here together with the RFID tag. That's the key holder. I don't know how I would be able to cut all this from here. I want to cut it without without cutting the actual bug. So let's see. I really don't want to cut this bug. They don't sell it, they don't have it now. It's always out of stock. We'll keep, keep those edges away. Okay. Okay, so the only cut here, the only thing cut here was, there was the labels, there were the labels. So that's good. You shouldn't cut these labels unless you're planning to return them. I don't think I will return any of these. And that's Decathlon. All the information 
Uh, this is the name. The name of this bug is Organizer. Organizer Traveler Excel. My shoulder bug. Don't know. I think I lost the RFID. I maybe I removed the RFID. Maybe I was worried it was scan in the shop. I don't know. That was when it was made, 2023, week 41. Yes, yeah, so no RFID tag on that one. We have one tag here. And the second tag, it's here. I think I threw away the other tag probably. And if you, you can actually remove this if you're worried about, if you're worried about this tag being read by somewhere and tracking you, you can remove it, but I don't know if the warranty will be accepted if you don't have this tag on your bag or clothing. They have these tags on all their items or almost all, I'm not sure. So this is X Access Organizer Pouch Green S and X Access Pouch M. Let's see this one. That's a sticker. Yeah, it's just a sticker on it. And right there is the microchip. There is a really super small, super small chip. Is it there? It has to be there because it's the place there for it. This one has a crease exactly in the that point. But it's really, it has a crease exactly in that point there, but that's where the microchip, it's a small, small chip that gets power from the antenna and sends back a signal once it's energized. Let's open the other one. I think this label will be much better because it's, it has no creases in it. Oh, this one is harder to remove. In this one, you don't see the actual chip. But you can see it, it's a bump, it's a bump on this label, right there, all right, this is the one. A very small bump, just under the six, under number six there. It's very tiny. And here, don't know if you can feel it. I can barely feel it. This one, because it was older, it could, I don't know. Maybe they're just made in different ways now. I don't know. But this is how the RFID works. 
the technical details about it and which frequencies i'm not exactly sure it could be lots of other frequencies but rfid it usually has a standard most probably it's going to be uhf uh, receiver from the antenna gets energy energized and then sends the signal back you have the serial number and probably this is what's going to be sending back the the serial number each item has its own code and like that they can easily track through the warehouses and the shops they can easily check the stock where everything is very quickly and uh, precisely so that's how that's how they know that's how they can scan in the shop in decathlon everything in one box first time when i saw this i was a bit like amazed like how they could do it but yeah once you see the labels and you search about it it's uh it's not a big deal but still it's still really interesting still it's in interesting to have this i don't know how i don't know if this could be a problem if you keep this on your clothes while you're walking around in the supermarket i don't know if they would be able to identify you track you i don't like to have these rfid tags on me on my labels i don't usually it's uh, and when i'm sure i will not return the item i will cut the labels to make them easier to wear thanks for watching